Hello YouTube, Chris the Frugal Audiophile with you again. Um, got another unboxing for you today, but really it's a re-unboxing because this is the AVR the, that I've been using for um, about three years now. And this is the Denon AVR X3400H. I know it's not a new product, however, about uh, three days after my eye surgery, it decided just to quit playing audio through the pre-outs or the speaker outputs. I couldn't get either one to work. And so I had to have it sent off to be repaired. Well, the repair cost, and I better get open this while I'm talking, was uh, it was about $300 all total, uh, including the shipping back and forth. So um, I had to weigh, is that worth it in comparison to, oh man, packing peanuts in comparison to buying a new one. Well, and as you know, these days, prices of gear is just extremely high. And so uh, to get a comparable model would be like $1,500. And I only paid 500 for this three years ago. So I was not, you know what? I'm just gonna dump it and clean it up later. I actually, I have this on a blanket here because it came, um, Saturday while I was gone and I uh, didn't know it was there and it sat out in the rain for about three hours. So hopefully it's okay. Hopefully don't have to uh, get another broken receiver for repair. Oh man, that's gonna be a mess. I hate packing peanuts. Looks like I should have opened it the other way, but I didn't know, I didn't know. No, where'd my knife go? There it is. Wow, look at all those packing peanuts. This sucks. Now this looks like the box I sent it in. It's actually not the correct box. This is actually for my like circa 2011 Denon AVR X1312 or AVR, whatever it is, 1312. But it fit because I couldn't find the original for this. It was locked up in my storage shed for the winter. But anyway, I decided to go ahead and have it repaired. I had United Radio do it. Oh, nice, looks like they put another um, plastic cover on it. I did not include that in. This is probably the invoice. I better set that aside for repair. <laughs> Open this up from the bottom as well. All right, here we go. Yes, get out of the way. All right, set it like this. I'm so glad to have this back. I've missed having my receiver. Oh, see they put the antennas back on. I actually um, broke one of the antennas trying to get it in the packaging, so actually trying to take it off. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. Looks like my receiver. Hopefully it works. Don't call on that. Yep. Looks like it. And there it is. The awesome AVRX 3400H. So I really like this receiver. Uh, I was, I was kind of looking for an excuse to upgrade, but um, I didn't really want to spend the money. I uh, have some other things I need to buy. So I decided just to go ahead and pay the repair cost. It's a lot for a repair and I, I'm, that's kind of annoying, but these antennas, just not very great. Anyway, I was like, but it's a lot less than a new one. And that's just kind of the way things are today. So I thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this re-unboxing of an old receiver <laughs> that's been around for a while. That's why I'm not in the fanciest of clothes because this box, this outer box was a little bit dirty. So now I got to clean up, clean up this space and uh, hopefully get this AVR set back up. But first I got to go out and shovel snow because we got like three inches of snow in March here in the Midwest. It's, it is what it is. And, um, yeah, and 
I haven't been posting videos for a while. I, I realized that, but I have been having some issues with my eye. It's okay, but it's just not quite to where I want it to be in order to write, film, and edit a super long video. So you may get some more videos like this, some shorter ones. Hopefully I'll get some reviews done soon. So I have those Roku wireless speakers over there. I need to review as well as some new Elax I wanna review. Stay tuned for that coming up. I thank you so much for watching this video. If you were me, would you have had this receiver repaired or put that money towards the cost of a new one? Let me know down in the comments below. And remember, frugal doesn't necessarily mean cheap, especially when you're talking about repairing an out of warranty AV receiver.